Let's let ME be a splitting line. Then the perimeter of triangle BME will be the same as the perimeter of the quadrilateral on the opposite side of line ME. Let's extend side BC past C to this point D so that AC has the same length as CD. Let's label some of the side lengths. So we have the three side lengths of triangle BME add up to these four other side lengths. We'll combine like terms and substitute these variables and combine terms again. We see that 219 minus x is equal to x plus b. This makes E the midpoint of segment BD. If we join A and D, then we see that ME, because it joins the midpoints of two of these sides, acts as the median of triangle ABD. This means ME is parallel to AD. We also see isosceles triangle ACD, and the two base angles are congruent, so let's call that alpha, and we'll mark it in the diagram. Because ME is parallel to AD, we also have this angle is alpha. There's the exterior angle to isosceles triangle ACD, that's ACB, which is equal to the sum of the two other angles, that's 2 alpha. We can do a similar analysis with our other splitting line, NG, extend BC in the other direction, call this point F, join it to A, creating this other isosceles triangle ABF, we'll label these angles beta, this exterior angle is 2 beta, and this angle is also beta. When your diagrams get too crowded, an Amy hack is to redraw them with just the information that you need. We are given that our two splitting lines intersect at a 30 degree angle. If we call this intersection point H, we again have these angles are alpha and beta. We don't know if the 30 degrees occurs up top or as the exterior angle to triangle GHE. So is angle NHE equal to 30 degrees or 150 degrees? This is equivalent to asking whether alpha plus beta is equal to 30 degrees or 150 degrees. Let's take another look at triangle ABC. Recall these angles were 2 beta and 2 alpha. Looking at the angle sum of triangle ABC, if alpha plus beta is equal to 150 degrees, then angle A is negative. But if alpha plus beta is 30 degrees, this means angle A is 120 degrees. We want to find the perimeter of triangle ABC, so let's use the law of cosines. Cosine of 120 degrees is negative 1 half. So this simplifies to b squared plus b times c plus c squared is equal to 219, where the side lengths b and c are also integers. The prime factorization of 219 is 3 times 73. Our right-hand side is a multiple of 3. That's handy because there are only two mod 3 residuals for squared terms. Because we're taking the sum of three terms, one case could be that b and c and their product are all going to be multiples of 3. Another option is for all of our three terms to be equivalent to 1 in mod 3. That'll make their sum a multiple of 3. Let's examine whether case 2 is possible and whether that's possible by having b equivalent to c or b not equivalent to c. If b and c are not equivalent and their squares have a mod 1 residual, then we could have b is equivalent to 1 and c is equivalent to 2. This means their product is equivalent to 2, and we have 1 plus 2 plus 2, which is not a multiple of 3. Let's see if we can have b and c be equivalent to each other. This means that b and c can be written as k more than a multiple of 3, where k is equal to 1 or 2. Let's plug this in and see if it works. We'll expand these binomials, and we'll combine like terms. In mod 9, all of these terms disappear, and since the right-hand side is a multiple of 9, that means 3k squared has to be a multiple of 9. This doesn't work if k is equal to 1 or 2 in mod 3, which means k has to be equal to 0, and b and c are multiples of 3. Since b and c are multiples of 3, we'll let b be 3x and c is 3y. And again, our equation is b squared plus bc plus c squared is equal to 9 times 73 squared, substituting and dividing by 9. Something interesting happens to the left-hand side when we factor y squared. Inside the parentheses, we have something that looks like this. This might remind you of r squared plus r plus 1, which is part of the factorization of the difference of cubes, which is also part of the solution to the third roots of unity. We can factor r cubed minus 1 as r minus 1 times r squared plus r plus 1. On the unit circle, these solutions are evenly distributed 
between 1, 2 pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3. So we can further factor this with r minus e to the power of 2 pi over 3i and r minus e raised to the power of 4 pi over 3 times i. If we let omega be e to the 2 pi over 3 times i, omega squared means we just multiply the exponent by 2. That's our second root. Omega cubed means we take our, take our exponent and multiply it by 3. This means our angle is at 2 pi, which means omega cubed is equal to 1, which means omega to the fourth power takes us back to omega again. So let's rewrite these roots as omega and omega squared. In our other equation, when we factored y squared, we had this expression. Let's let r equal x over y. So now we have y squared times r squared plus r plus 1, which we know factors as r minus omega and r minus omega squared. We'll substitute x minus y back, and we'll take each of these two y's and y squared and multiply it by each of these two factors. Now we have x minus y omega and x minus y times omega squared. Another handy thing to notice is that 73 is equal to 64 plus 8 plus 1. This is also equal to r plus r plus 1 when r is equal to 8, which again factors to r minus omega and r minus omega squared. When r equals 8, that's 8 minus omega and 8 minus omega squared. So let's square both sides and we'll first square each of these factors separately. Expanding, we get this expression on the right hand side. We are aiming for something that looks like this. And again, the sum of our roots of unity equals zero. I'm going to try to get rid of this omega squared by subtracting 1 plus omega plus omega squared, which is equivalent to subtracting zero. When I do this and combine like terms, I get 63 minus 17 omega, which is looking like my first factor on the left hand side. Let's expand the square of the second factor. That's the square of 8 minus omega squared. We note that this omega to the fourth power is the same thing as omega, so we'll make that substitution. And we can get rid of omega by subtracting 1 plus omega plus omega squared again. And we get this expression, which resembles the second factor. Since 73 squared can be written like this, we'll make our substitution for our two factors. Comparing, we have x equals 63 and y equals 17. b was 3x, or 189. c was 3y, or 51. The perimeter of our triangle ABC is 459. If you want me to solve any other AMC or Amy problems, please leave them in the comments.